I made it to Bucky's. This is my first time. I don't know if I'm going to be going in or not. I'm going to get some gas for sure. But it is crowded. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and it is crowded. I don't feel like dealing with the crowd. All I want to do is go to the bathroom here. Making my way through here. We put the bathroom at the very end, of course. Here's the bakery. Amazing all this stuff that they got going on. Wow, it's incredible. It's kind of cool that they actually post their hourly wages here. Isn't that cool? And look at the amount of money that they pay. That's amazing. Well, sorry, Bucky's, but it's like an overrated tourist trap. It's just a nice gas station. That's what it is. Where they do pay well. All right, guys. Well, again, in Georgia, making my way to East Tennessee. It's a little after eight o'clock in the morning. I left around two thirty. It takes a good eleven hours to get there. Well, we're coming up on the Tennessee border in just a little bit. going through the tunnel and these folks driving and they're making good time on the other side and in about two miles they'll be stopped in about a seven mile line of traffic and they have no idea and here you have it I found that there were some areas that ripped just a little bit, but again, we had these wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour uh, not too long ago. And there's some holes here. I'm not sure what the heck happened there. Must have been a, a limb. But I just put a piece of PVC down here. It covers the whole thing. And I'm finding that if you have something long enough that your PVC will be held in sort of by this as well. So if it extends, but it can extend another good six inches on each side. If you don't do something like I did, I guarantee that this thing would have been sayonara. It would have been up in the air and it would have ripped those hurricane anchors right out of the ground and it would have just tore the shred out of this thing here. So you have got to anchor this to the ground no matter what you do. And if you remember, I stuck these guys in here, those, there's three, okay? And they held up. They didn't come out of the ground and then you see the cinder block right there. You can see you got that black thing going around that you got the rebarb in there and then you have that little orange thing there, but this would never work by itself. Heed my warning, people, heed my warning. And then I have a piece of PVC in here as well, but I wanna make it longer again, just like on the other side so that it's not moving so much as you can tell that's important because that movement right there creates havoc it, it rips it so you need to come in far enough into here as well and then that will secure it in here and then that won't move this is the five by eight and you can see the air conditioner and you can see my outdoor shower i got everything hooked up i'm gonna take a shower before i call it for the evening this is sort of roughing it but kind of not roughing it thank god i have water right and the well is back over here you can see it right there but i got it covered up that's gold right there you can't you need a well <laughs> you need water and it makes all the difference in the world this is what it looks like i got the mattress right it's already blown up but i'm gonna get it even more fun and then you have the air conditioner everything here and i got some stuff over there you know all that good stuff okay all right this is sort of the top part of this section of the mountain. And here's the outbuilding or shed. And there's my uh, camera system, which is completely surrounded by growth. This was completely cleared. Underneath in here, there's a pile of wood that I have covered with tarps. I'm sure it's probably full of snakes, right? 
We got froze out last night. I had it on low and I had to turn that down to just the fan and then that was just too much. <laughs> That's a big tree. That's got to go. And then there's a couple big trees back here that should probably be taken down. Anyone know a tree guy? Give me a call. Yesterday, <clears throat> when I got up here and I started cutting with this uh, lawnmower, and this is not the type of terrain you want to be cutting. Everything's all busted up in the front. I hit a log. I already checked the oil. The oil's good. There was a stick stuck in there as well. But you've got to get an appreciation of the height. I'm going to show you over here how high these bushes here. So it's got to be like, I don't know, 12 feet high and I'm doing it all with this thing here. So I need a tractor. I need a tractor. I think once I go ahead and I either put the uh, fifth wheel up here, uh, get everything set up, I'm gonna get a tractor. Over. So I wanna be careful that no bears run out, right? I got that mom bear, three baby cubs, and I saw another bear not too long ago, probably like four days ago, three days ago. So, I don't know if you can tell, but <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be just barreling these things over with that lawnmower. I'm covered in debris. Now I'm going to try to get behind this fence and see if I can, with the lawnmower, I'm not going to weed whack. <laughs> Should I be burning this stuff? Because I just keep throwing it. I keep throwing it that way. There's some trees back behind here. I hate cutting down trees. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've been cutting trees down and there they go the wrong way. And I had to have a neighbor down below save my butt. And like I said, when you look up here and you see this, I mean, that's, whew. Now I left the gate open down here. And again, no one should come through my property. <coughs> well, let me clear. Some of this debris here. I just put on another pot of coffee. It's nine o'clock. Okay, there goes nothing.
I screw this thing up, then I can't do anything at this point. So anyway, there's a big log in there. I have to cut out of there first, something like this size. So this is kind of what I hit. <laughs> it's like a four by four. So anyway, I'm going to cut up in here right now. I was already knocking most of it down. I got the a stronger string on. Well, I just took off the tarp. This would stay dry. That's a blessing because I'm going to need to use some for sure. Couldn't think of a better place to put it, so I threw it all there. <laughs> all time oh my gosh this cemetery has been here for a long long time they do a great job of maintaining and there's another cemetery behind here on the other side of the road flash storm you know anyway so there's my flags there's a flag there. there's a flag there these are soaked Didn't protect that, that's for sure. Damn. Okay, it's around like five o'clock and it poured. It started to pour around 1.30, quarter of two, and it rained until about 4.30. Everything's just soaked. And I'll tell you, I'm glad I brought these up. I was only gonna bring up one. And I'm so glad that I said, just bring up the other one. Don't be foolish. I've done that before. I just want to knock out a couple more things. Now, I have to cover this up again, just in case it rains tonight. I was concerned about all this root system. Because I have my water and I have my uh, power for a 30 amp. It would be better if I had some help. Help! Or having a tractor, or having a bobcat, or a backhoe, or a skid steer, or whatever, you know. Having all those things make up for the uh, lack of having anyone to help you. A tractor certainly would be ideal for sure. This is our little makeshift. A neighbor Blake put this in for me. He uh, ran everything for me. Did a great job. We put a 100 amp panel in there. I don't know if there's any water left in here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is water that's still, that's in the tank. Now, when I first, when we first hooked this up, it didn't have a one-way valve. The longest I was up here at any given time was two and a half months. And then I was also working at the local hospital, but the water hook up in the shed and you have that pressure tank and that pressure tank fills. And it has a bladder in there and then, um, you know, keeps the pressure steady for the, uh, the house or whatever you're using the water for. And you should have a one-way valve. And so that when it fills up, the one-way valve prevents the water from the, the tank, if you're not using it, from just seeping back out. So the one-way valve, check valve, will keep it from draining this way. So when you go to turn it back on, <laughs> um, it doesn't have to fill up. Or one of my videos where I made a fence panel, I'm gonna use the same measurements as I did the last time. And so as I lay it out, I'll explain it further, but it's going to be eight inches from the bottom, seven and a half from the top, and 36 in the center. And then we'll do both ends and then we'll just zip it right down. But we're only going to be doing the staples. I'm not going to bother screwing in it as well. But I'm just going to over staple it, okay? So follow along. I brought 20 of these up with me and I pre painted them. Uh, 
So first we have to get our first measurement. We'll get the, the second measurement and then we'll just fly right in between. And hopefully it's not too windy. It was a little chilly this morning, but one more in for right now, but we're gonna put four in each area. So that's seven and a half right there. The fact that I pre-paint it helps out tremendously. And I hope my measurements were correct. These should all fit in here without much of a gap at all. Now I counted this out, it's 17 that actually will go on here. be a really tight fit or we might have just a slight little over overlap but let's see what happens here we'll just start from here and kind of work our way down I put my two ends on but anyway it doesn't matter okay I got all my planks in and I put like at least one staple in the top and at least one in the bottom now I got to head and, and start in the center here but this is slightly off this last one here at least according to the rest of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sledgehammer and I'm going to see if I can actually bang it up. Now, I didn't put a lot of staples in yet, and so let's see if we can do it. I'm going to take my sledgehammer. So, you know, this is not exactly perfect, and neither am I. Guess what? That worked perfectly. All right. I'll show you just how quick you can zip right through this. I already did oil this up. I always make sure that I do that every single time. Okay, let's start doing the center. All right, let's finish up the bottom. There you have it, six foot by eight foot fence panel. All right. Let's see if we can find any snakes. I hope not. So we're gonna take that wood and we're gonna move it right over to here on pallets. Okay, so I laid out two pallets. Okay, let me show you this rat I just uncovered. It's huge, but wait till you see the size of this thing. Oh, there he goes, shit. That thing was huge. That thing is huge. Holy crap, I, I don't think you've even seen that. Wow, okay. Look at the size of this nest. Look at that thing. He took that orange strap that I had that was covering all the wood, and 
and they took that and they, and they built that. Okay, as you can see, I moved that, all the wood over to there. But this looks better. Of course, this looks nasty. And that's that tree right there that I dropped that almost destroyed my camera. Okay, well, we're gonna do the same thing down below. So this is what it looks like inside the five by eight trailer. Here's my 15 inch blow up mattress. Just lean it to the side. This way you have plenty of room for your dogs. And I'm sitting here in a chair. Put a little TV right there with an antenna. So while you're in bed here, and you can see the bubble wrap holding up real well. And then of course the carpet on the side there. Again, that's just to protect the mattress. And then I have some rugs here. I just tried these different rugs that I got from Walmart. And Sammy and Bella obviously like it. So they're just chilling. Look at that, mama and a baby. All right, now I hung my spy point here. Okay, so this has cell coverage, as you can see, and it is solar, and I did cut a lot of the tree down. So we're gonna test this out, but the location is perfect for getting all of this right here, okay? But this is set perfect to show exactly what I'm looking to show. The main factor is gonna be the sun because that solar panel is so small, it really requires a lot of sun. Uh, today so far is the best day weather-wise that I've had. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and tackle a couple limbs, but I wanna show you just how well this pole saw works that I got from Walmart. It's the Hyper Tough and it was only $98. It has a 20 amp. What I've done so far has actually been quite impressive, I have to say, and I'm gonna show you just how well this thing works. Okay, like I said, so far this thing has been pretty impressive. I have not extended it any further than this. Uh, it's really not that heavy. This was really easy to maneuver. I have it filled with oil. I don't know how fast this thing actually goes through oil. Well, not fast at all because it's full. All right, so we're gonna cut some of these limbs up over here because this is really not getting the sun that I thought it was going to get. Great. I give it a thumbs up so far. $98. Again, lots of bugs, you know. It's all right. Well, I like it. I have to say, I like it a lot. It's doing what it needs to do. Again, the sun has to be more over here for that to work, but this whole area over here is getting the sun great. What I wanna do is I wanna take my mounting system that I created, that I've been testing out in Florida, the same type of mounting system they have up above, I'm gonna replace it with this. Now we're hoping that this is gonna actually be able to pull a signal in, that's the key, otherwise, it doesn't work for us. 
and I really want this to work work for us here. Well, I hung two more American flags. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five up here. Okay. Whoa, 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 Sorry whoa, about whoa. that. <laughs> the, I just did a little tiny bit, tiny fire here. And I've been keeping water on it to keep it down. And it's snuck underneath right there. So anyway, I just patched it up. We do not want anything out of control. Again, keeping some water on it. And I have this screen over top of it, so to protect any ambers from flying up. That's usually the best solution I have. It's pretty fine chicken wire. Super fine. Probably like one-eighth, maybe. We're good here. So let's move on to another task. And again, we're going to work on doing the septic area, clearing that out. And then just getting everything together and then calling it a day. All the trail cameras are out. The high-tech camera's out. Not working as well as I wanted it to. Of course, this one works flawless. It is pulling in the signal. Not like I thought it was going to be, but better than what it was with the last Sims card. Thank you for staying tuned. There's so much for me to do up here in East Tennessee. I can certainly use anyone's help if somebody wants to reach out and offer some help because I can certainly use it. And, you know, a tractor would make all the difference in the world, of course. And... That's going to have to be one of my goals. Was actually a little bit better than I thought but it is heavy I'll secure it with this It's my son. Okay, I'm gonna take this trail camera down that's up in the tree and I'll bet you can't even see it. It's actually camouflaged really well. All right, so this is the uh, trail camera right here. Now, this one, really only has a four month battery life because there's only four batteries. The, uh, the, the Tascos, they have eight months, they, they claim. Now, last year when I ran to Newport to pick some stuff at the box stores and I also ran up to Incredible Tiny Homes and I did a video there, so you might want to check that out. Those of you that are looking for some off-grid stuff or other type of trailers, incredible tiny homes, Randy Jones has a lot to offer, okay? And it's nice to see that Amanda is back. So welcome back, Amanda. Now, if this snaps, I might be screwed, but let's see here. can't do this with gloves. Of course, I would never be able to do that again. So I kind of like the way this is positioned and it really does catch 
a lot. Now I have like three or four of these down below. I think it's definitely down with the right kind of angle that I want, okay? Now again, I won't be able to tell until the next time I come up. I mean, I could take a couple test shots right now and go back and check it, but you no, know, I just kind of, kind of visualize how it's pointing and then, you know, cross my fingers. Okay, so that's up pretty good. And then we'll turn this on when I get ready to leave. So that wasn't bad. We're gonna make an attempt to go down my driveway and I do have the fence panel and I have the, the ladder in there. Of course, I don't have the ladder real secured, so it's gonna see what happens. But this is going down, not a problem, but then I have to go back up in four-wheel drive. There's a limb. I got my foot, of course, riding the brake. I slipped coming up. I had to put it in four-wheel drive low and I was slipping. Oh Lord, I don't know what that was. But here's the pond. I'm gonna stop here and show you the pond. So the pond now has obviously more water. Wow, the pond actually looks pretty good. That goes way back. Now I caught a pretty decent bass. The biggest bass I've ever caught was in this pond. Well, this trail camera is still here. That's nice. I love that position where that's at. I caught a lot of bear on that one. God, I hope there's no bear or anything. You can see footprints here, or like a path for sure. I believe my signs are still up. Let's double check. Yeah, my signs are still here. That looks still pretty good. However, oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, well, we gotta fix that too. All right, that's from all that wind, I guess. Uh, but this fence is in bad shape. It needs big time repair. And I took this piece off here. It's not ready to fall off anyway. And so I'm gonna go ahead and secure this. And I redid these. So I just put two screws in, two screws in. Didn't tighten them down all the way. I put a sign there. My truck's way back over there. I know a lot of bear activity comes up through here as well. I'm gonna to try to take this post out, I'm thinking at this point, if I can, and then secure that. Okay, well, you've already seen the mounting of it. I've been back and forth, up and down the mountain here, trying to get the best cell signal and that seems to be the big issue here. Now, is it better than it was the last time? Yes, it is. Is it good enough? No, it's not. To play something back, it seems like it really has a hard time of grabbing a signal. It seems like it needs even more to do a playback if it catches something. Going live, not so bad. United States of America. Dogs are in the five by eight. I accomplished most of everything that I want to accomplish. Everything's buttoned up pretty good. I put that PVC that goes across the whole thing here, kind of holding it so that doesn't flap. And then the same thing on the other side. We're all packed up here and ready to go. Dogs are in the back. Got all the cameras out and everything. All the lights are off. I'll turn off the main panel before I leave. Well, we're gonna make our way back down the treacherous way. Like I said, this way cuts out about two miles. They took that sign down that I showed on a video. areas 
that are not paved. And I guess there's some... This bus, I just had to drop off some trash. Let me show you this. Look at this. Looks like somebody's living in the back of it. There's a nice lab. Well, we're making our way back to Florida. I got a lot done. If anyone knows any brush cutters in East Tennessee by the Newport area, comment down below, please. Okay, we're coming up on Brooksville, exit 301, Hernando County, Florida. Ten hours. That's the fastest I've made it home in 13 years, maybe longer. A buddy of mine showed me a shortcut that knocks off about a half an hour. Now, I took it up as well as taking it back. Didn't help me going up, but coming home, I'm making a whole lot better time. <laughs> 